Welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you step by step how to value a stock. We will enter the company's financial information and capital structure into my Excel model. Then we determine whether the stock is a buy or a sell. At the end, we calculate and analyze the financial ratios. I am doing this with you throughout the entire video, so it's like we're doing it together. Leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer. The company we're going to look at today is Viamed Healthcare. And this company provides home respiratory services to patients struggling with respiratory diseases like COPD. Let's get started with the model. This company has a market cap of $410 million. So that's the value of the company according to the stock market. So it's a really small company. And let's get the stock price. 1055, that's what they're trading at. And the way you value a company is you estimate the future free cash flows and then you discount that number back to today's value. And that's what we're doing in this video. Now I'm going to pull the actual free cash flows. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. It's a cash that's remaining to pay out investors or grow the business. Now I'm pulling the net income. That's on the income statement. That's the profit and loss for the business. And we also need the revenue, which are the sales for each year. That's also on the income statement. And you can see their sales are growing each year and more than double from 2016 to 2019. So that's good. And they also have positive free cash flow and positive net income. So we should get a good value for this company. So they pay 314,000 of interest on their debt. Let's see how much debt they have. We'll go to the balance sheet. We'll go to liability section. Current debt of 1.8 million. Long-term debt of 7.6 million. So they pay 3.3% interest on the debt. They don't pay taxes because they don't make any money yet. Let's get the beta so we can figure out the cost of equity. The beta is how volatile the stock is relative to the market. And they have a really low beta, 0.63. So it's a good stock to buy if you want to hedge your investment on other equities. Let's go to the balance sheet and get the current assets. We need this to calculate the current ratio later. And current assets is $28 million. And that's 13 million cash, 11 million net receivables, and 1.4 million of inventory. We also need the current liabilities to calculate the current ratio. That's 26 million. That's 1.8 million of current debt, 5.7 million of accounts payable, 86,000 of taxes payable, 5.2 million of accrued liabilities, and 3.3 million of deferred revenues. Stockholders' equity is 44 million. That's the value of the company according to the balance sheet. Stockholders' equity equals assets minus liabilities. That's 3.4 million of common stock, 34 million of retained earnings, and negative 157,000 of accumulated other comprehensive income. Let's go back to the income statement and get their operating income. That's $9 million. And we need this to calculate the interest coverage ratio. Let's look at a capital structure. Weight of debt is 18%. Cost of debt is 3.4%. Weight of equity is 82%. Cost of equity is 7.2%. And the WAC is 6.5%, which is a blend of the cost of debt and cost of equity. And that's a discount rate we're going to apply to the future cash flows. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. That's here in blue. We also estimated terminal value, which is all cash flows past year four. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. That's here in green. We get a value of the company of 825 million. We divide it by 39 million shares and we get a calculated stock price of $21. It's trading at a 1055, so it's trading at a 50% discount. So it's a buy according to the model. Let's see what Simply Wall Street says. They're at $36, so they're even higher. Let's see where the stock has been trading since it IPO'd in middle of 2019. So it looks like it dipped a little in February this year, but it's come up a lot and it's sitting around $11 now. Let's look at the financial ratios. They have a bad PE, a bad price of sales, and a bad price to book. PE is stock price over earnings per share. To calculate earnings per share, that's net income over shares outstanding. I like to see below 15, they're at 48. So investors are paying $48 for $1 of net income. Price of sales is stock price over sales per share. To calculate sales per share, that's revenue or shares outstanding. I like to see below 2.5, they're at five. So investors are paying $5 for $1 revenue. Price to book is stock price over book value per share. To calculate book value per share, that's equity over shares outstanding. 
I like to see below 3.5, they're at 9.4. So investors are paying $9.40 for a $1 book value. They have a good current ratio, good ROE, and a really good interest coverage ratio. Current ratio is current assets over current liabilities, so they can cover their current debts and payables. ROE is net income over equity. I like to see at least 20%, and they're at 20%, which is good. Interest coverage ratio is EBIT over interest expense, so they can easily cover their interest payments. And the best way to look at ratios is to compare them to similar companies. The only video I did in the same industry as Viamed is Abbott. And Abbott is a much bigger company, 155 billion market cap. Viamed is under a billion. But Abbott has a better price to earnings, price to sales, price to book and current ratio. Although Viamed is better in ROE and debt. Let me know what you think of the video. Leave a comment. I'll be sure to answer. Thanks for watching.